Hi, this is Ron Tube today on The Hunter, Call of the Wild. We're back at Rancho del Arroyo for the first time since leveling up in our new beginner series. And I can't believe I've just set a tent back in this position. You know this position if you've seen my previous videos on Rancho del Arroyo. I use it a lot. I just put my tent down and I spooked a coat and I can't believe it's a legendary. Now I've got two diamonds of these but uh, I haven't seen one for quite a while. I think the last one I've seen was when I was doing the content creators weekend. That was about six or seven weeks ago, I think, something like that. But uh, it's been, like I say, quite a long time since I've seen a decent coat here. So hopefully this does make diamond. This video today is the third episode of my new beginners series. It's gonna be about skills and perks. That's what we're doing today. Before I was leveling up as fast as possible to get to 60, I didn't really put my skills or perks how I actually wanted them. I just leveled them up to get to 60. And then today, we're gonna actually sort them out. I'm gonna reset them and stick them as I want them. That's where he's resting. That's quite a nice shot. Two, four, three. Follow my tips. Can we nail this? And hopefully it's a diamond. Straight down. So nice clean shot. Now, is it going to be a diamond coat? It'll be, it will be nice if it is, because like I say, I've only got two of these, so we can always use rarer diamonds. There's certain diamonds which are easy to get, and then certain ones are harder to get. And coat is not exactly an easy one to get, to be honest. Um, my jackal took me absolutely months, so about seven months again on those. Uh, I still haven't got a diamond red fox. I'm definitely going to go after those soon. But we got our diamond links, that was another one I wanted, and uh, we, we ended up getting lucky with that, to be honest. We only had to kill about six or seven of them, and I ended up getting a legendary uh, diamond link. So, you never know. you just got to do your best and see how it works out. If you are a new player to Call of Wild, welcome to the community. I want to know what you want to see in these beginner series videos. If there's a topic you want to be covered, Drop that in the comments and I've got a question actually for all you new players and, and veterans even. What is the best white tail gun? Drop in the comments your top three white tail guns. Hello? So we're doing a video on that. Um, there's other things I've got in my mind I'm gonna be doing, but like I say, for that one, because I'm gonna be doing that soon, what are your top three rifles you use for white tail, your favorite ones? Your best ones. I want to go over everything in the store, all the items, all the weapons, so we've got lots to cover and lots to learn. Tactics, you name it, everything called a wild, I want to cover it. So we learn together, I'll learn things along the way doing it, and uh, hopefully other people will as well. Right, here's a coyote. Is it a diamond? It is a troll. It is not a diamond coyote. So close, look at that, 56.40. Really nice shot, got robbed by the hunting gods. <laughs> Can't all be diamonds, can they? It'd be too easy then. Still a nice animal, but so close. I thought, I can't believe, I thought, I just, that was my last tent I was putting down, just setting up this reserve. I've spent a few hours opening it up. And then uh, I seen that, I thought, I can't believe it. Is that the first animal we're gonna see? So it looks like it's gonna be a good hunt. And indeed it is, I can't believe this. We've come to my first lake. I've just started the first part of my whitetail grind, yeah? This is where we just shot that near diamond coyote. And this is where we are right now, where I start my whitetail grind. And I've come round the first part of the lake, looked over and look at that. I already know without looking, that's a diamond. Because look at that rack, that's huge, it really is. Now you may notice there, while I'm just shooting this uh, Central Diamond White team, I haven't got the score predictions in my spot in yet. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to call the perks and skills, because I haven't got them set up how I actually would like. Uh, so that's why we're going over it today. I'm going to show you what I actually want to have set up. And I'll show you what I've got, so then if you want to copy it, you can use it. We'll go over some of the uh, perks and skills and what what you maybe think is better than mine. Drop in the comments. 
I love to hear people's opinions on things, whether it's different to mine. You know, I mean, it makes for good uh, conversation and talking. And uh, at the end of the day, there might be something I don't know, and I'll learn off one of you. So it's good to discuss things and comment on things. And like I say, we all learn things together. Then I hope this is a diamond. It looked very big. When you see certain racks of the white tail and the threes and such. You do get a feeling for when one might be a troll and when one's a diamond and that is 100% diamond. I can tell that's a very big one even though I ain't got my uh, score prediction on because you can tell by certain rack styles and how big they are normally what they're roughly going to score sometimes and that is a really big one actually. So I use the 7 mil for this. I normally use the 243 or the 7 mil for my whitetail hunting. It is a diamond, and it's a very big scoring diamond, the whitetail. Nearly 270, so yeah, that's, you can tell, look, when they're really long and big, those main tines, you know that's going to be a, a really good scoring diamond whitetail. So there you go. Not bad start. <laughs> Rancho Del Arroyo is being kind to Ron. For all of you people out there, you use Discord. I've made a new Discord channel for my fans and followers. So check the video description out. There'll be a link in there. It lasts for up to a week and I'll just update that each week. And uh, like I say, if it's expired, just tell me and I'll edit it and just put a fresh link in so you can join if you want to come and chat. Like I say, it's growing quickly and uh, it's doing really nice. And I can't believe this, because look at this. I've got another level three. Now this is the second lake I normally go to. It's a very popular lake. I think that might be a troll though. Um, but it's another level 3, so it's a great start to the grind, isn't it? I was up to about 2,000 whitetail um, before this update came out, and I just thought, when I'm doing the re-leveling, it's, it's time to do it. So, we didn't get a great one in the last grind on here, about 2,000 whitetail, so maybe we will this time. Maybe it's being kind, but we've started out with a diamond and a level 3. Um, but this is where we started, we shot the diamond there, I've gone to here, and then we've shot another level three at this location. You do get a lot of whitetail in this sort of area when you're grinding. A lot of people ask about whether Leighton's easier or Rancho. They both differ in numerous ways. If you're a systematic person, Leighton is probably better for you because the lower numbers spread out across the map and it's easier to grind that set on Leighton. Um, for that reason sort of systematically uh, whereas on rancho it's more a bit more running gun and a bit more fun um, it starts out really sort of easy and quick on rancho del arroyo but once you've shot quite a few and your zones sort of sort out and it's a bit more systematic uh, you can just run around and just slaughter everything on rancho if you want because there's only a few lakes they go to so they've got to come back to water to drink so it's just a case of going around the lakes of rancho but uh, it's, it doesn't really matter, it's just what, what you like the best, isn't it? So I just swap between the two and just hunt um, wherever. I enjoy both the reserves for whitetail hunting. So we got a troll level 3. Not too bad though. A diamond and a level 3. And then I've come just around the corner and I can't believe what's in front of me. When you have days like this and you put the time in and then it all just comes together. Look, we've got an albino whitetail in front of us. Um... It's really nice. What you don't see in a lot of content creators probably don't tell you this is sometimes they're on all day, every day of the week, putting in the hours, and sometimes you can spend all week and still get nothing. Do you know what I mean? It just doesn't go your way. So when you have one of these nice moments and you have a few hours of good luck or whatever, it does make things a bit easier. <laughs> it's not always the same, but sometimes you do get a bit of luck and you're like, I'm happy it went like that. No big white tail here, but there is an albino female, so I will shoot that. Go and collect it. I don't often um, put the females up on trophy plaques, but it's an albino, so it's not exactly common. Still searching for that diamond albino and that diamond melanistic. We nearly had a diamond melanistic. It was literally just under. It was so close. You can't get any sort of closer. It was that close. Those of you who have seen it know that, but uh, that is my dream to get the Diamond Piebald, which I've already got, Diamond Albino, and Diamond Melanistic in the multi-man. 
Only a few days now before the console people get Rancho Del Arroyo, the big update. I can't wait for you to get it. 31st of August, console people across all consoles, the update is out. I know you've been waiting to go on there for what seems like an eternity, but it's not long now. And uh, I can't wait to see all your comments when you get on there and all the fun you can have on Rancho Del Arroyo. And also a lot of the fixes, so there is some really good fixes. Right. So, let's go about perks, shall we? And what we're going to do with my perks, I'm going to set them up how I actually want them now. This here is really good. It's a top right hand corner, great for mule day. So, if you're watching, top right corner is a little lake, loads of mule day in that area. Alright, let's go over it, skills and perks, shall we? And how we're going to set them up. Right, I've got mine set up willy nilly at the moment because I was just leveling. It's 38 and a half thousand right to reset but the thing is I haven't got that one there to level three and it's a really big deal because I want to know on the footprints the tracks what the weight is of the animal and because I haven't got that to level three and I've got no more perk points left I can't do that so that's one of the main reasons I'm resetting also I couldn't see the animal's score uh, rating which is quite important so we have reset them again so what we're going to do is just enable some of these. We're we'll just checking that I've got them how I want. Because I don't want to reset again because it's 38 and a half thousand for both of these. So let's go over what we actually need and what we don't need. Now what I will do is I'm going to drop in the video link uh, description a link to the wiki. And it explains all these perks and skills in depth. So if you want to go full deep on it, you can look at that. But I'm just going to enable the ones I actually want, and you can see in front of you, and uh, what I think is important. A lot of these perks and skills come down to what works for you. So, for example, I like to sneak up on things. So, soft feet very important, reduces the noise of you moving uh, when you're stalking about. Another one for me is seeing the animals score when you look at them, and also the scope seeing the score because I often glass with my rifle more than my bin my binos you know what I mean so that's important to have also the tracks and seeing the weight of the animals they're the main ones for me that I like to enable because it's like the great one I wouldn't have found the great one if I didn't have that on because when I click on the track I need to know what that sort of weight is and stuff because like I say the great one has a specific weight on its track so it's really important certain ones and obviously what suits you how you hunt so I think we've got them about right like I say I'll leave a link in the video description that was the main one I was missing the the weight on the tracks is a really big deal and when you ain't got it on you think oh why aren't I enabled that I feel like a right idiot but it is a big deal soft feet as well a big one for me um, it, it does help when you're close to animals so you don't speak them that one's a good one as well improvised blind for noise levels endurance so this is what I've got set up so you can copy it and try it if you've got any other options and or you think something's better drop that in the comments as well let me know and um, there's no wrong or right it's just what suits you and if it works it works do you know what I mean spotting knowledge a good one the scents I don't really use a lot so we may change this over the videos when we experiment with scents like I say I don't normally hunt with them much myself but we may change this to try and see how it works out like I say I'll, I'll learn something myself by doing that but the main one on this ambusher setup is seeing the deer's scores with the scope things like that it's really important that's a good one as well to have so that's what I run so I hope that helps you out. Rifles are all decked out because I mainly use rifles and I've leveled up the shotguns. We may change these around as we look at handguns and archery, uh, bows and stuff like that. But at the minute I've got rifles decked out all the way and shotguns. So there's my perks and there's my skills. I hope that helps. So I'm Ron McTube. Today in episode 3 of my beginner series, been looking at the skills and perks. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.